The federal government has pulled two sex education videos after they were roundly criticised by teachers, survivors and state governments. The videos were part of a multi-million dollar sex education program designed for Australian primary and high school students. Bridget Rollison reports. Do you want to try my milkshake? Yes, I do. They're the videos deemed cringeworthy that have left politicians from both sides confused. It's a big fail. I think they're pretty woeful. Um, I think that it's a missed opportunity about an issue that is really important. You do, huh? Well, drink it. Drink it all. The series of videos published this week was designed to be used in Australian schools to teach students from upper primary to year 12 about respectful relationships. They're so problematic in so many ways. Um, first and foremost, they minimise the experience of rape trauma. They use metaphors to discuss consent and avoid mentioning the word sex, rape or assault. Do you want to go in the water? I don't know. Do I? Documents suggest the project cost the federal government almost $4 million. I thought there was confusion there. Um, I thought flipping perhaps the girl to the aggressor role model was tokenistic. I didn't, that didn't sit well with me. He's writing a, a pros and cons list. The first pro that, she, that he has in the, in the list is she's pretty. I don't need to explain why that's problematic, surely. State and Territory governments have refused to back it. And I'm saying right now, we will not be recommending the use of those materials. There's a mistake, acknowledge it. Um, and something as serious as the issue it was dealing with, it was dealt with too flippantly. Requests for comments from the Education Minister, Alan Tudge, were referred to his department, which this afternoon released a statement saying two videos, including this one, were removed after community feedback. It says it's speaking to experts to make sure the other 350 resources on the site are appropriate. Successful videos made for students about consent do exist. Queensland schools already use this video produced by British police more than five years ago. And if they say, no thank you, then don't make them tea. At all. Advocacy groups say new education tools are always welcome, but honesty and simplicity is key. Bridget Rollison, ABC News.